the message early here? Yeah, I think so. And it, it didn't look like it took much to drag either guy into the fight. Down he goes, fairly one-sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. Oh, it only takes one to stagger a player. In that fight, he looks like he struggled here at the end of it. He's not doing very well. Known for deflecting pucks into the net. Guys. Watching, guys, back to you. Now a quick pass to Barry. That pass doesn't go. Picked up along the wall by Gretzky. Takes the feed at the point. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Sagan. He scores! Jumps right on us, a rebound, and puts it in the back of the net. Always good to get the upper hand in a series. They've got the series' first goal as they take the lead here in game one. Dallas quickly quiets the home crowd here with an early strike. You take fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Edmonton's playing it through center. Dreisaitl's got it against the boards. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Comes up with the stop. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's working around along the line. Scores! And the back of the net. What a beaut. And this guy's one of the most popular players on this team. He leads by example, which means you get it done on the ice. Otherwise, you're just another coach making a speech. What a beautiful goal. I love the way this puck has moved around. He's known to distribute the puck at the right place at the right time. And then it ends up on the scorer's stick, and there's no mistake made. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. They slowly make their way to the penalty box. Somebody else will have to clean up that yard sale all over the ice. They've got gear everywhere.
man advantage takes... It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. It scores! Now, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoffs, and you're able to get on the board. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. It scores! Now, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoffs, and you're able to get on the board. Well, you get the power play and you want to take advantage, but that all starts with that face-off. If you lose that first face-off, now you got to chase it back down the ice. You waste 20 seconds getting set up. That doesn't happen here. It doesn't leave the zone, and they're able to score a power play goal. Dallas gets... Dallas is in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Slapped away by the blocker. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Puck picked up by Sagan. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Scores! And they go up by one! Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick. He gets beat again. That's a nice shot. The Stars' hard work finally pays off with a one-goal lead in the second. He's got to be sharp. He's got to be on top of the puck to make that stop. Passes right to the front. And that one's broken up. Sends it ahead to Payne. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Slides the puck across to Lee. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Scores! We well, just keep working away. Your minds roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot. Ties the game. And now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. He's like a one-man distribution center. Get open, and it's right on your tape. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are... And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Oh, he's calling him out now. And here we go, buckle up. Down he goes, fairly one-sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. Stars have possession shorthanded. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Payne's time is almost done. 
Puts the puck on net and makes the save. Haynes out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Now the pressure ramped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tied. They do a really nice. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken. Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. That's a good shot. He zips it by the goaltender, but he works himself into a clean area on the ice to shoot this from the high slot. relentless and it goes right through the team when he scores it's like there's an electric charge on the bench Dallas is right back into this one. And that's off a stick. Robertson scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pavelski. And now he angles it across to Sagan. Dallas plays it along the wing. Sagan's got it along the boards. Great defensive effort with the stick. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. That pass is on and off his stick in an instant. No stopping it, one-timing it so it's in the net. Should be a fun finish to this one, Ray. Moves it quickly over to Messier. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Puck scooped up by Sagan. Quick pass to Pavelski. Big time stop. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Pokes it away. I thought he had it, but if they're, they're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. Pretty tough for the goaltender to go two ways. He thinks he's moving to the puck, but it hits the defender and goes in the net. has gone in front. Question is now, can they hang on here in the third? Fires it! Makes the save as that goes off the glove. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. 
Dumps it in. The Stars scoop it up along the boards. In close. Spectacular stop by the goal. He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. gets into overtime you look for somebody to step up large for you they get it done and the lead in the series is theirs they talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport this is a perfect example of that step forward well when the players started saluting the fans you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase i think it's a great thing to do and look how much That's a clear decision there. Both guys trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here, but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out. to give his team a boost every time he's... Dreisaitl's on this special teams unit, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get them on the board here, guys. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Puts it on net. Cut it the power play. That looked like a well-thought-out play. They moved the puck quickly on the open man, and it's in the net. Rebound makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Edmonton's got this in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. The Oilers start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. That pass doesn't go. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. He scores! And that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. Really effective power play there. They move the puck around and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. The 
Oilers now have extended their lead to two in the second. They've been looking good here so far tonight. I have to be pretty careful. Now they've got two. You can open it up a little bit, try and get a third one. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Well, he's calling him out now. Here we go. Yeah, that's the star player that took that hit, James, and a teammate better step up for him here. Nice effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight had punched itself out. Right, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have fun. ...on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Nugent Hopkins will look to win the draw to continue this power play. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. In close! Great stick saved by Belfour. And that's another power play marker. Well, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. is perfect. I mean, James, I think you could probably receive that thing. It's right in the middle of the blade, flat and crisp. Off they go. He picked periods played. How do you see this thing? The Oilers are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. Quick pass to Lee. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Officials calling charging. You agree with the call? I do. I, in particular, when a player goes that far to make the hit and doesn't really slow down, it becomes a dangerous play. Diagonal pass to Carbono. And now it's over to Vanderstar. Dallas on the attack. The Oilers look to start the transition game. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Back at the point, they set it up. He scores! His first career playoff goal! Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoffs, and you are pumped. The accuracy of this play is the thing for me here, James. Look at this tape-to-tape -tape puck work. Pass on the stick, move quickly, and now it's in the back of the net. The Oilers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they built... Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. He clearly doesn't like that. They're gonna go! James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. Try and send a message as they're going to play again down the road, but this night has not gone very well for them. Does this work at all, these late messages? I, do, I don't think so, because by the time you play them, so much has happened in between. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that, Donnie Brook. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the neutral zone. 
The Oilers carry it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Puck sent over to Medano. Here's a shot, and they score! And some signs of life here on one end of the, end of the bench. Well, you gotta dig in for anything positive you can. I mean, if I'm the goal scorer, I'm pretty pumped that I got on the board. But you look up at the big board and you realize you got a long way to go. The team's got to dig in a little bit here. Can you get another quick one? Can you get yourself in some way, shape, or form back in this game? Dallas has a little momentum now here in the third. A goal gets the puck over to Messier. The Oilers take it along the wing. And on the heels of that bit, you can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. And takes him down with authority. He was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. They were looking for a spark in this building, and this might provide it. They are pumped yeah. in here. Yeah, this crowd on fire now here in the arena. Gain possession. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Shot! Oh, there's a great stop by Belfort. Moves it to Messier. And there's another stop. Loose puck battle along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Here's a blast! And that carries off a stick. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Score! This guy's one of the most popular players on this team. He leads by example, which means you get it done on the ice. Otherwise, you're just another coach making a speech. This is what a born leader looks like. You inspire with your effort. His zone ability is that everybody wants to follow what he does. Effort, speed, desire. And now he scores, and everybody can't wait to celebrate with him. When he scores... Looking for space inside the D zone. Can't connect on the pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Gains the zone on the left wing and tries to make a diagonal pass. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated, and guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the mitts. Go time. Nice effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight had punched itself out. That bout was an old-fashioned punch-in-the-face contest, and I don't think the home side liked the results very much. makes the stop. AJ's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. But he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Medano's won a big draw on their own end. And it's a quick pass to Payne. And they won't connect on that one. Way to throw it. Scores! Oh, what a shot on the one timer to put home. It 
If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. The Stars tally the game's first goal. Across the blue line. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Up along the wing. Let's one go. And that one stop. And here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Down he goes, fairly one side, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. Time. The Oilers have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. Looks like he's not going to make contact, and he chicken wings him, and he gets nailed for elbowing. Play. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Nice pass. Makes a save with the glove. Quick pass to Vanderstar. And that one's turned away. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. AJ's on top of that deke by the shooter. That was a pretty good one, too. I thought he had room, but a good save beats him. Special. Right in the chest! And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. AJ's likely to have a little chat with the trainer during the stoppage here as that puck hit him in the mouth. Moves it to Medano. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Both sides back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating, but as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. Tease him up, denies him! The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Great read with the stick. Scores! Connor McDavid! Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Guys, he's so good when he's moving at top speed. He's able to use his ankle brake. So as the puck is frozen up. Oh, man, that was such a huge hit. He absorbed the hit. Unfortunately, his helmet popped off in his... Edmonton's looking to break out. And a stick breaks that up. And now he tries to get it across to Lee. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Moves it quickly over to Robertson. And that shot dies in traffic. McDavid's got the puck along the wing. Sends the pass over. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. superstar ability there. He shielded the puck with his body as he drove it to the net, and it was the perfect play as he scores a beauty of a goal. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Excellent chance there. They score! This guy's
is a born leader. I mean, everything he does on the ice, he drags his team along with him. What an outstanding play to get on the board, and the bench is pumped. Every goal means one goal on the board, but some just mean a little more because the guy that scores, it's one of your leaders. Everybody is up on their feet because they're pumped he scored. He's known to give his team a lift every time he scores. He gets one on the board here with his born leader zone ability, and just look how stoked, look how stoked his teammates are, guys. Takes the feed. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Cuts to the paint. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And he's going after him here. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. And takes him down with authority. He was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on their way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. The Stars are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you, you run out of time. The Oilers gain possession. Here he is in close. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. One timed into the net. Everybody is puck watching. The guy carrying it behind the net. I know he's got the puck, but the dangerous guy is behind you. He's in front of the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers paddle the swatted away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Stars take it along the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. AJ's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Belfer's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. More than half the period left to play. Edmonton's got a 3-1 lead. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Quick feed to Curry. The Oilers move it in. Shot, and the puck skips off the glove. Here's a chance behind the net. Quick pass to Horkoff. Fires the one-timer, and he comes up with the save. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Gergensen's quick on the draw. Directs it on over to Robertson. Dallas plays it along the wing. A chance! Comes up with the stop. Driving right to the front. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Really good positioning here. The goal scorer gets inside, the defenseman takes the rebound and throws it up in the top bin. The Stars are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you, you run out of time. Game possession. Here he is in close. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. 
one-timed into the net. Everybody is puck-watching the guy carrying it behind the net. I know he's got the puck, but the dangerous guy is behind you. He's in front of the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. With possession along the wall. Receives the pass. Takes it to the net. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And that's knocked away by Lee. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Sent into the offensive zone. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. He scores! And that's two in a row! Get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes, and while the defending team's back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. Ah, oh, this is real teamwork here. I mean, this passing is crisp and sharp and on the tape. And then the scorer gets the puck with a chance to finish it off. Guys, you need players who can distribute the puck, and he does it so well. Things going, and it's reflected on the score sheet, guys. You know his coaches are loving this performance as much as I am. Well, that'll get a response. Here we go. Yeah, that's the star player that took that hit, James, and a teammate better step up for him here. Well, I guess that's that. That's that, and it's pretty clear, James, who had the upper hand. They've gotten pounded pretty good tonight, and I think this fight is a little bit of a message to the other guys saying, hey, we're going to play again, and we'll be ready to go next time. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. They may not be talking about it in the room, but you know we are having that conversation, and fans as well thinking sweet now, Ray. Well, 3-0, the series totally in hand. It's only happened a few times that someone has been able to come all the way back from down 3-0. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. This series will continue on, and we will talk to you then. Good night, everybody. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated. And guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the men. Go time. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. amazed at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day as they get escorted to the penalty box they've got to try and regroup so they can play again even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago Edmonton's down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of them. Well, I guess they wanted to make sure their goalie was loose. They haven't played very well, but he has been so sharp early. Many stops he's had to make. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man, move the puck well and get on the board.
create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center in the slot. He doesn't miss. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Messier is loved by his teammates, guys. When he scores, he gives them such a boost. We call this his born leader zone ability. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. cashes in they move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot he makes no mistake from there you can't do that to the stars yeah even if you think it's a clean hit and I do it doesn't matter somebody's coming after you Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. Oh, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink, because you're tired and thirsty, and now you get a bowl of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? No, I, I, I never was in there. Well, yeah, I was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. Well, both teams seem to be a little clear for the puck to go. Moves it quickly over. To he clearly doesn't like that. They're going to go. You lay a hit like that on a star player, I think you expect that somebody's coming after you, and here they come. effective use of the wrestling move yeah you don't see that all the time but this fight had punched itself out there hasn't been much gone right for them tonight i think this is just a spillover of frustration you grab the nearest guy and ask him if he wants to go until eventually somebody says yes to Robertson. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Into the attacking end. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. He scores! That's the hat trick! Now, oh, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. 
That's like grease lightning. I mean, seriously, take a look at this play. The speed and the agility to deke your way through before you score. Outstanding play. somewhere else through the neutral zone moving the puck along the side drives to the sweet spot scores Leon Dreisaitl this is how you greet the offense I mean you can't be digging the puck out of your skates all day tape to tape off you go they can't recover defensively and it ends up in the net Goals, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. Musa quickly over to Messier. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes it to the net. Big score! Surprise, surprise! Yeah, one of the more popular guys on this team, whenever he scores, it like gives the bench an extra juice. They love it when he gets on the board. His energy's just relentless, and it goes right through the team. When he scores, it's like there's an electric charge on the bench. Edmonton's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a feeding on these guys now. It may be time. Pavelski's won the draw. Quick pass to Robertson. Takes the pass. Stones up with the blocker. Takes the feet at the back end. Made the save on the play. And misses on the tip. You kick yourself in the... Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here, that puck's got to go quick into the net. There's going to be somebody that's going to come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. The Stars win the face-off. Here's a short pass to Sagan. Poked away by Messier. And now he angles it across to McDavid. From the slot, wrist shot, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Messier's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming, but man, does he get level. Zooms here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Now he slides it up to Pavelski. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. They came, they saw, 
They conquered. They're moving on to the next round. With the bank pass. And it is over. Well, they turned out the lights pretty quick. What efficient work doing this in a sweep, Ray. Once they got rolling, there seemed to be no way to slow them down, and the, the sweep is pretty evident of it. Ray, seen a lot of pats on the back to go along with the handshakes here. They seem empathetic. Well, there's not really anything profound to say other than good series, good work, but... The winning team understands what the other side's like, too. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.